Hello, in front of me I have iPhone Air and iPhone 17 and in this video we're going to perform a benchmark test on those devices. Alright, so for this test I'm about to use the Geekbench 6 app, uh, the Antutu benchmark also and uh, as a last uh, benchmark we are going to use the one uh, from the browser, it's called the Octane. Alright, so let's begin may maybe with the Geekbench 6 app. Now, as you take a look, you can see some information about the uh, CPU and the memory. For example, we can see that the Air has 12 gigabytes and the uh, 17 has only 8. So, first, let's perform a CPU jump, uh, benchmark. Let's click on that and let's click on Run CPU Benchmark on both devices. It's going to take a little bit, so I'll see you once we have our results. Alright, as you take a look, uh, we have the first results when it comes to uh, the CPU benchmark and the results are really, really uh, similar to each other. When it comes to the single core score, we have difference uh, on the level of tw uh, 28, uh, 28 points as you take a look, so it's such small difference that we can say that it's not even there. Same thing with the multi-core score. Difference in here, in the level of... Uh, uh, let me quickly count 30 points is not even a difference if there would be a difference like I don't know 400 points 500 points that that's the thing that we could call the answer but when it comes to that it's not even a difference we should also consider that uh, the iPhone 17 has a lower RAM than iPhone Air but let's scroll down a little to see some system information you can take a look and see for yourself all right, let's scroll down again a little bit. Now, when we take a look in here, we have other values such as integer score and floating point score. You can take a look on those levels, three, uh, 3609 on air, on 17, uh, 3577. Again, those results are so uh, similar to each other that I can say that they're not even there <laughs> because there are so much uh, so small differences all right below we can see some other information I'll scroll down and leave for a for a second so you can take a look on both devices you can pause the video and and read same thing in here just like that now we have the multi core performance and again integer score and the floating point score on the air it's 8487 on 1786 so for, uh, when it comes to the multi core we can see that mm, in this case iphone 17 is a little little bit better when it comes to that uh, for the integer score uh, but uh, when it comes to the floating point score this time uh, it's a little bit worse than on the Mm, error, but again such small differences that uh, That uh, They're not even there <laughs> I can say in that way really really similar Okay, uh, another information you can take a look All right Let me in here also scroll down a little so you can take a look all right, that was the CPU benchmark. Now let's run the GPU benchmark on our both devices. So let's launch the test. And again, I'll see you in a while until we have our results. Okay, we have the results. And again, they are really, really uh, close to each other. For me, those devices, when it comes to the, the, the benchmarks are uh, practically almost the same. In here, the level of uh, 1000 is not even a difference. Uh, Alright, uh, I can scroll down again so you can see some informations. Mm, I have shown the CPU though. In here we have the uh, me uh, metal performance. Alright. So we can take a look. That was the first benchmark. 
Now let's run the Antutu benchmark. Let's start the test. Uh, it's going to take a little bit, just like I was saying before. Mm, so I'll see you once we have the results. All right, we have our results, and as you take a look, uh, on the Antutu benchmark, we have different results than on the Geekbench. Uh, let's begin with the CPU. Uh, also, above, we have the overall score. You can take a look and see the difference. Now, let's click on the CPU. We have that difference. Uh, on the level of the points, below we can see some other values, so we can take a look. Now let's go into the GPU. Again, take a look. Alright, next thing is the memory. In this case, the uh, iPhone Air is better, because it has 12 uh, gigabytes, while uh, 17 has only 8. And the last thing, UX, is pretty similar to each other. Alright, that are the results on the Antutu. Uh, and now let's run the last benchmark, just like I was saying, the Octane. Uh, I just need to launch it on the 17 also. The page needs to load. Alright, and again, let's start the benchmark and I'll see you in a second. Okay, and now we have our results and in here also the results are really similar to each other, only 1000 points into the advantage on the air this time. Again, I will scroll down so we can take a look on those values. Okay, take a look into everything, and that are the final results. Alright, and that's all in this video, thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.